in the beginning of the Dilly Juice protocol when I first rolled everything out and, you know, I really didn't understand the food supply. I was still working from the mentality of the holistic allopathic depriving people of food because of different unbalanced energy. You can have 10 people and all of them will have different uh, reactions and allergic reactions and different um, uh, tolerances to food. And so the medical holistic system has figured out, well, if this person represents this type of prototype, and this type of prototype and this type of prototype, well, um, we can apply this type of diet and that type of diet and that type of diet. And if you have this reaction, we can take away this and add this. And so the medical holistic system is working with bodies that are at such different, you know, times of declines and deficits that then it turned into a industry of nutrition, an industry of diets, an industry of just avoiding foods or adding foods, more of this and adding that or taking away this and adding that. And so it became, then you saw people were either way obese or they were very undernourished and very skinny. And then you're like, okay, well, what do you do when you're obese? Well, you just minus the, the carbs and minus all the sugars and minus anything that would add fat to your body. Well, that's starvation. We're not trying to starve our bodies. Um, we are not trying to live up to a specific image that's being put out there. So the whole thing with the jelly juice is not to diet. There is no diet on jelly juice because here's the thing. If you're obese, you'll do jelly juice to get to proportional size and you'll eat all the food. You're not going to starve yourself. You're not going to decline yourself from meat, milk and carbs and donuts and bagels and all that stuff. Maybe you don't want to eat as much because of whatever reason but you still need a balanced diet of all the four food groups plus then everything else. And maybe you're doing J-Juice to kind of help with getting the system energized because you have a stagnation, which is why we have people who are obese in our society. Their system is stagnated. So Jilly Juice energizes a stagnated system. It's no different than if someone went to the, to the treadmill and was just running on the treadmill, but what kind of person would want to be on a treadmill running all the time? They're not adding anything to their body. They're just taking stuff away. So the jelly juice will add things to your body as it's recalibrating. Okay. So there's no diet on the jelly juice at all whatsoever. We are eating all the sugars, all the fats, all the meats, all the milks, all the, all the vegetables, everything that you can get your hands on the processed food. I don't care what it is. Because there's no starvation, there's no dieting. Because what happens also too, when you deprive yourself of food and you lose so much weight so quickly, then you start losing the collagen in your skin, your hair, skin, and nails are affected. And then yes, um, you'll see the aging process accelerate because you are depriving your cells of nutrients. Okay, so if a person who's obese that wants to lose weight and get to proportional size, they'll be doing a lot more jelly juice than someone who is very skinny. Someone who's very skinny will do a little bit of jelly juice just to kind of recalibrate, and then they'll be packing on the food supply. They'll eat the eggs, the meat, the milk, the fats, the sugars, the carbs, all the pizzas and the donuts and, and the, 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 the whatever, okay? And someone who is obese will do a lot more jelly juice, will still eat food, but to do a lot more jelly juice and get the waterfalls so they can get their system activated because it wasn't activated very much anymore because the fat was stagnating everything. Okay, so understand that the Jilly Juice is that that calibration. It levels a playing field between skinny and fat. So you don't have to deprive yourself. And then you also could eat more of the food and have that food actually do something for you. It won't just go right through you and do nothing for you, which is happening right now because people have so many um, leakages in their gut that they're not retaining the energy. There's so many holes in their gut from stagnation because of years and years and years of old programming that has not been washed away. And you need to recode your DNA. Okay, so that's why there is no diet. No diet whatsoever. All right, bye.